Amari, can you just give us an update on your foot and, and how you uh, hurt it? Yeah, it's, it's a bruised foot. I hurt it in the game. Do you think it'll keep you from playing on Sunday? Say that again. Do you think it'll keep you from playing on Sunday? No. Amari, you, Julio Jones, and Calvin Ridley are all Alabama products and first-round draft picks. What are some things that impress you about their individual skill sets? Um, you know, I, I like both their individual skill sets. Um, you know, Julio, you know, he's a big receiver, but he's also fast. He's also quick. He can run every route. Um, you know, he's just a beast, you know. Um, with really, you know, same way, he's a beast. Um, really good route runner with really quick feet, good hands. Um, yeah, you know, they're both real pros. Looked like CD was kind of hard on himself after that game against the Rams. Uh, what are your thoughts on how he played in that first game as a rookie? I think he played good um but you know obviously coming in as a rookie you, you, as a first round draft pick you're going to have high expectations on yourself especially if you want to be a great player you know i remember when i um when i first came into the league that first game you know you have so many things that you want to accomplish and why not you know you you, you say to yourself you might want to um you might want to break the the record for most receiving yards in a game as a rookie um, in terms of what other rookies have done historically throughout the league. And so I, I don't know what his state of mind was, but that's probably along the lines of what he was thinking. Um, and I, I feel that way because I've been around him and I know he wants to be a great player. Um, but to do what he did out there on Sunday, uh, he, he had a good game. He had a decent game. And um, he, he, he's going to be able to build off of that. Mari, when he has a wrap, uh, I know he's talked about and Coach McCarthy has talked about, um, like on that fourth and three, that it was a little bit more shallow than they may have wanted. Is that something you break down with him during the week, or what's your approach in terms of coaching him up? I, um, I mean, I, I did give him some advice, not on that particular play, because, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of coaching someone up on something that they, they already know. You know, he, you know, he knew immediately after he didn't, um, get the first down on that play exactly what he did wrong so it was no need for me to coach him up on that but um yeah I, I i just gave him some um advice on some other things amari, amari did, uh, did did julio jones going to alabama at all play a role in, in maybe you going there uh, maybe from you watching him on tv or something like that did, did that have any factor in you going to alabama nah no, not 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 at all, really. Um, it didn't, no, I didn't know Julio when I was in high school, um, but I, I mean, you know, obviously I knew of him because he was, you know, one of the top receivers coming out. But it didn't it didn't really play a role in um, me picking a school. There are so many good Amari, receivers in the NFL now that came out of uh, that that Alabama program. Do you feel a sense of, of, of pride or, or kinship with them? Do you follow those guys a little bit more, or or is it just now you you've moved on and and everyone's kind of in there doing their own thing? No, I follow I follow every guy who has um, gone to Alabama. You know, obviously with the receivers who have come out, it's like a you know a fraternity, or um, we all recognize that we went to the same place. And yeah, there is a sense of pride in, in, in coming out of the same place and um, being able to, to play in the same league. Um, Amari Zeke celebrated his first touchdown last week by showing fans his Feed Me tattoo on his stomach. Have you, what are your impressions of the tattoo if you've seen it? And what kind of energy does Zeke bring to y'all's offense? Yeah, I, I saw the tattoo when he first got it. <laughs> um, we, uh, we were working out together the day after he got it. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I like it. Um, you know, that's, that's definitely Zeke's personality. Um, and he does bring a lot of energy to the team um, because he just has a, a, a mentality that, you know, he wants to be fed. Obviously, the world know, knows he wants to be fed. Um, 
um, and he wants to help the team in any way that he can. He mentioned that first workout after he got it, it was still kind of swollen and puffy. Was that something y'all also? It was, it was still kind of what? I guess it was still kind of swollen at that first uh, workout oh, at yeah. Jack Factor. Is that something you remember him talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember him talking about um, him just getting it and how it was still sore and stuff, yeah. Anything else? How would you assess where, as a receiver group, your timing was with Zach last week, especially given first week actually in live-action game and where you wanted to improve? I thought it was good. You know, I think I had 14 targets and 10 catches. Um, it was just, you know, defense we were facing. They played to their defensive line, um, which is the best unit on their team. And so, um, you know, they were playing a lot of off coverage, so we, we just kind of had to take what they gave us in the passing game. Um, and so, yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was good. How does it change the offense in terms of route combinations or the sort when you lose Blake Jarwin's athleticism from that wide tight end spot? Um, you know, obviously, Blake, he was a, a, a real important part of our offense. Um, he's a real explosive guy at that tight end position um, and we're going to miss him um, and yeah it's going to be hard to replace him but that's what that's what we practice for you know that's why we you know have other guys who um, who are behind him who, who need to step up and who should be ready to step up um, and so I don't I don't think it's going to change much I think we're just going to try to keep the ball rolling and um, we try try to um, replace him as best as we can